test. Good morning. Welcome to worship this morning at First English Lutheran Church. If you haven't done so yet, please fill out the friendship pads and send them down and back and greet one another and especially any guests that we may have with us this morning when the opportunity presents. During flu season, which is now upon us, I've been instructed and requested by healthcare professionals that we do the corporate greeting and sharing of the peace. So we will do it that way. And then if you feel safe later on, shake hands and do the elbow or whatever you want to do. So it, everyone's also invited downstairs following worship for a time of coffee and fellowship and Sunday school and adult class are on break now until January. We also welcome those worshiping with us by means of our broadcast on KDIO and later on at Fairway View by the tape. We thank those making the taping possible today. And our broadcast this morning is sponsored by Kathy Stoltman and family in loving memory of her dad, Robert Taylor, and sister, Janet Warden. So we thank them for sponsoring. The Advent Giving Tree, Generosity Tree, continues to be out in the narthex. The directions are there, as well as in the bulletin. If you feel like sharing with others, please feel free to take a tag and follow the instructions. And we thank our members of the Board of Evangelism for taking care of this, and those are Marilyn Hansen, Kathy Randall, Shannon Milliburn, Marilee Hawkins, Tammy Lundberg, and Michelle Geese. So we thank them for their efforts. Last Sunday, we were blessed with our Sunday school children. It looks a little quieter up front this morning. Um, this morning, we are also blessed by our older Sunday school children who will present our <laughs> cantata, only they're bashful. They're more bashful than the little ones, so they're gonna be in the balcony. So we thank our senior choir for sharing the story of Christmas in their cantata, The Heart of Christmas. And we continue if you, to announce that if you wish to place a poinsettia this year, get the information to Emily tomorrow morning so it can be included in the bulletin. And our Christmas Eve worship schedule will be music at 3, and then the first service at 3.30, and the second service at 5 p.m. Are there any announcements I'm overlooking this morning? If not, please rise for the greeting and sharing of the peace. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. And then just turn and wave at somebody and we'll go like that. So. <laughs> We will continue with our order for confession and forgiveness as we find on page 116 and following. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin receive your forgiveness and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated, and we will continue with our morning offering and our offering hymn, Go Tell It on the Mountain, number 290. Isaiah, the seventh chapter, 
beginning with the 10th verse. Again, Lord, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or as high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you worry my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the woman is with child and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land before whose two kings you are in dread will be deserted. The word of the Lord. For the one promised in Scripture. And he will be called the everlasting Father. We wait for the one who knows our deepest thoughts and fulfills our every need. And he will be called the everlasting Father. We wait for the one who will love us unconditionally as a parent loves a child. And he will be called the everlasting Father. We wait for the one whose grace and mercy will never end. And he will be called everlasting Father. Amen. Today we light four candles. The first candle reminds us of our hope in knowing Jesus as our wonderful counselor. The second candle of our joy in proclaiming Christ as almighty God. The third candle reminds us that Jesus came to bring peace into the world. We light the fourth candle to celebrate the fact that God loves us in spite of our flaws, just as a parent loves a child. In an unsettled world, surrounded by confusion, we affirm that our everlasting Father is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We pray. Gracious Lord, 
We thank you for your promises and for coming to earth to be our everlasting Father. As we continue our Advent journey, remind us of your eternal and steadfast love. Help us radiate this love to others by our actions. And with our words, we pray this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. At this time, I invite any children that wish to come forward. I need your help today. Come on. Good morning. How many days until Christmas? Three, two for Christmas Eve, that's right. So do you have all your presents bought? You don't know yet? You, do you know what you got your dad? You're not going to tell though because it's a surprise, right? Oh, he already knows. That's the best kind of present. <laughs> so this morning, I'm going to talk about this. The candy cane is a symbol of Christmas. They used to be straight, and they used to be all white. About a hundred years ago, a candy maker, and this is the story, I don't know if it's true, but I'll tell you anyway, he decided he wanted to tell the meaning of Christmas with candy. So he took a candy cane and he changed it. So what colors do you see out here? White and red. White is the color of purity. And Jesus is pure. Jesus is perfect. On Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, the colors in front of church are white. Why do you think it's red? What did? Because Jesus died and rose to save us. Very good. So red is the color of the blood that saves us, the blood of Jesus. Now, if you look very carefully, how many stripes do you see on there? like the little skinny ones. Do you see three? What do you think those three stripes remind you of? Very good, Martino. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that's what the candy cane does. And then finally, he made it crooked. When you hold it like this, it looks like a hook, right? Like the thing the shepherds, the shepherd's staff. Some people might say they use it so if I talk too long, they can pull me off. So that's called getting the hook, but we won't go there today. The other thing I like about the candy cane is if you turn it upside down, what do you see? A J. A J. Could be for Jace, but maybe this morning we'll say it's for Jesus, won't we? So the J reminds us of Jesus. So this morning... So you can enjoy the choir concert. Will you give each of them one of those books? And you get two of these, but you have to share one. Aww. And you can't open them until your parental units say you can. Okay? There you go. Did you get two? There you go. All right. You can take two more for your brother and sister. You want to take some extras? Here you go. Share with your mom and dad. All right, thank you. And at this time, we will turn things over to Lisa and the Senior Choir for the Heart of Christmas. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah. In those days and at that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called, the Lord, our righteous Savior.
The Christmas story can bless and strengthen our hearts in many ways if we are ready for the blessing. If you long to experience the presence of God in a genuine way, open your heart to the Spirit's power as the prophet calls us to prepare the way of the Lord. If the Lord is calling you in a new direction or a certain task, echo Mary's response to the angel. Here I am. Let it be according to your words. If your life is heavy with responsibility and you struggle to find your own path, follow Joseph's response to his dream and be strong and faithful to do the right thing. If you need to receive and accept the love that was offered through the birth of the child, come to the manger's side and embrace the holy love offered from the heart of God. If you need to experience the joy of Christmas, come and celebrate with the shepherds as they praise and glorify God. If you desire to worship God in a deeper way, lift your eyes to heaven and follow the wise men as they travel so far to declare, we have seen the star and have come to worship him. With open hearts, may we immerse ourselves in the story. For if we truly behold the Lord and embrace the love sent down to earth, we will go away renewed and filled with a spirit of joy. Isaiah said that when we see the coming of the Lord, our hearts shall thrill. May your hearts be blessed, encouraged, and thrilled this Christmas as you heed Isaiah's call to arise and shine, for your light has come. A voice cries in the wilderness. Prepare. Prepare the way. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight. Make straight in the desert a highway. Make straight a desert in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the glory. The glory. And, and the, the glory, glory of, of the Lord, Lord shall be revealed.
As we prepare the way of the Lord, his light will shine. The glory of the Lord is revealed. And the presence of the Lord is in this place. As we gather, let us be still as God's presence fills our hearts. For surely the Lord is in this place. Let us open our hearts and breathe in the spirit that lives and moves among us. Lord, we stand ready as we wait to receive the same hope, love, and joy that you placed in the hearts of those who experienced the first Christmas. As sure as you entered our world as a child, so many years ago, we invite you into our hearts to live in us. Live through us. Emmanuel, God with us.
Her name was Mary. Mary was a young woman whose heart was clean and innocent. She had a willing heart and was ready to serve the Lord. She had a pure and she had found favor with God. One day, she was visited by an angel. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The angel told her that she would conceive and bring forth a child who would be called the Son of the Most High. Mary was puzzled by the angel's words, but listened with a spirit of openness. So let it be, was her simple response. Here am I, so let it be. Her words came from a pure and willing heart. Here am I, the servant of the Lord, so let it be with me according to your word.
His name was Joseph. Joseph was a just man. A good man. He had a good and faithful heart. Joseph loved God and always tried to do the right thing. But then he heard rumors. Rumors that Mary was with child. She, she was with a child. Mary and Joseph were to be husband and wife one day. But now she was with child, and he was not the father. And Mary is with child. Late, one sleepless night, Joseph struggled. He struggled with what he should do. Joseph, you are not the father. No one, no one will blame you if you turn her away. But he was a just man. A good man. And he decided to quietly let her go to save her from more disgrace. But just as he drifted off to sleep, an angel entered his dreams and told him of another plan. Listen to the angel, Joseph. Listen to the voice that calls you down a different road. A higher road. Rise up, Joseph and prove what it means to be a strong and faithful man.
From the heart of God, love overflowed. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. From the heart of God, love overflowed to earth. And Joseph went to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. When holy love came down. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. When holy love came down, a child was born. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. When holy love came down, a child was born in Bethlehem. And she laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
And there were shepherds abiding in the field. Shepherds living and eating and sleeping in the field. Strong, sturdy men of the earth, hard-working, bold, and boisterous men, who will be chosen to see the newborn Savior. And lo, an angel of the Lord came around about them. Who will be chosen to celebrate his birth? And the angel said to them, Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. Great joy, shepherds, you are chosen to celebrate. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Yes, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Run, shepherds, run to Bethlehem and find the child lying in a manger. Run and feel the joy stir in your hearts until it bursts forth into the night. And the shepherds return, glorifying and praising God for all things that they had heard and seen. Let there be joy on the mountain, singing in the valley. Join the holy hosts of angels shouting, Christ, Christ the, the Lord, Lord is born. born.
Far from the joyful celebration of the shepherds, wise men from the east patiently traveled through the night. A star of heaven filled their eyes, and a desire to worship filled their hearts. When they came to Jerusalem, they asked, Where is he that is born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star. We have seen his star and have come to worship him. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the child was. As the star of heaven drew them closer to the child, it seemed to call out to them, Come and worship, bow before him, and bring your gifts of love and praise. Come with anticipation, moving closer all the while. To express your adoration as we come before the child. Please rise if you are able for prayer. And keeping awake as we watch for Christ, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. 
Merciful God, guide your church in all its forms and denominations and all who belong to Jesus, where your church is scorned, preserve it, where it is privileged, grant it humility. Lord, in your mercy. Bless the earth during this time of dormancy. Help us to be careful stewards and to find a solution for the ways in which we abuse your creation. Grant comfort and relief to areas that are affected by storm, especially in the south, and also by the wildfires in California and the cold in the northwest. Lord, in your mercy. Guide all who are in power and authority that they may work for the common good and reform those things that are unjust. Bless our president and all elected representatives with wisdom during this time of uncertainty in our country. Keep safe all who continue to serve and work to keep order in our world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear the prayers of all who are in need, those in prison, fleeing violence, or seeking shelter, and those who are alone or lonely, or who suffer in any way in body, mind, or spirit. Especially do we remember those in assisted living and long-term care facilities. And also Dawn, Ellie, Brenda, Shirley, Stan, Jerry, Mark, Eleanor, Gail, Tom, Marlis, Aletta, Todd, Aaron, Gordy, Anders, Jim, Matthew, Paulette, Lance, Matt, Angela, Isaiah, Regine, Christian, Grayson, Bennett, Paul, Verdon, Lauren, Larry, Natalie, Jessica, Megan, Linda, Bella, Ron, Warren, Dorothy, Terry, Kelvin, Gwen, and those we name silently in our hearts at this time. Bless and strengthen all who provide care for those in need. Lord, in your mercy. Bless this community of faith to be a blessing to others. Be with families and friends as they gather this season. Keep safe all who will be traveling. Especially be with and bless all who work to serve others and those who work to keep our highways and our communities safe. Let your peace shine in every heart and every place. Lord, in your mercy. As community together, we are better. Hear our prayers as we lift up the following local businesses. Hartman Super Value, S&D One Stop, West Con, Holbright Apartments, and Autry Lake Gallery. Be with each employee and patron and assure them that our community appreciates them. We also pray for our churches, governing and volunteer organizations, and nonprofits who all contribute to the fabric of our community. Today we lift up the Ortonville Post Office, the Public Library, Someplace Safe, and Abiding Faith Free Lutheran Church. Help us to acknowledge their service and foster in ourselves the need to serve our community. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you for the gift of music and for all who use their talents and voices to praise you. Thank you for our choir members, our director and accompanist, for sharing the Christmas story and song with us today. Lord, in your mercy. You hear all our prayers and we thank you. Fill us with hopeful expectation and strengthen us to love and serve all people. In the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. The Lord look upon each of you with kindness and with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated. And before you go in peace and serve the Lord, we will continue with the final narration and song by our choir. When we come and worship, When we bow before him and bring our gifts of love and praise. Our hearts overflow with worship. Our hearts fill with joy. Our hearts are led to follow as the spirit comes upon us. But even more, our hearts are awakened to celebrate the coming of the Lord. Isaiah, the prophet calls to us. Arise and shine, for your light has come. The Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. 
Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice. So, so lift up your eyes, arise.